Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about how to upload files to the Firebase Cloud Storage with the Nest.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here you can see that we have a post URL and the file. This is the key and this is the value. Okay, so I'm going to upload any of the files from here. Let's suppose I'm going to upload this, upload this one okay we get the url also and if i just refresh this one the files uploaded come over here okay so this is the image that we have uploaded and it's coming like this right so you can see the files are uploaded right and how to make sure you have to create the storage file and it should be depends upon to you when you create the storage it should be in the production or the test so choose test and just proceed with that flow okay and done right and if you want to create the bucket then you can create the folder name with the bucket and match it accordingly right so let's move to the code level how we have achieved that one okay so you have to install the firebase admin and the multi types extent uh, npm package so i will show you which one i have used so control alert control c so types multi you have to install and the firebase admin sdk okay which is this one and then install firebase admin right okay after that you have to create the service account file from your settings project settings and go over there we have a service account file generate that file and use it over there in the firebase firebase storage controller you have to use this one so just word wrap this okay so here you can see that you have to use that file it's in the storage service okay so let's go to the top here you need the that file that is admin sdk file okay service account file right so here you can generate the new one and save it and do it put into your root folder and give the path from there right okay <clears throat> so next just common firebase admin and the path so initialize the firebase admin sdk okay and here you have to add the bucket so here you can see if i go over here this is my bucket right where is storage and this is our bucket so you have to copy this and add it over there right okay now this is our service upload file okay so admin storage dot bucket this is date now and the file original name that we have taken and create the file object in the bucket so we have created that and create a writable stream okay and after that handle the stream events return the new promise resolve or reject whether the flow file is uploaded or not if it is not then reject if it is upload then finish and file uploaded successfully with the file name okay with public url right and and that one okay <coughs> done now go to the our controller <coughs> so here we have a storage controller let me word wrap this okay this is already word wrap and this is our <coughs> upload post request okay use interceptors file instead of file is the key name for the file in the request okay so we are using that one and this is our function upload upload file express multi file so here we are here we are using that one and here you can see we are using the service file storage service and upload file and we require request for the file and return the file url okay in the app module.ts file you have to give the path of that one firebase storage controller okay and the service we have to include right controller and the service done after doing this you have to just restart your server and you will get this path storage upload and do the rest of the process from the postman right and without any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day